Welcome back to the channel, Johnny here with Johnny Watson Gaming and today we've got a little painting update for you. So I needed a little break from my second edition all project and my good friend James from Scruffy Crow challenged me to paint some trolls. So the idea was to have a little mini competition between me and James to paint three of the same sculpts of trolls. And these guys were just 3D printed I think they may have been free miniatures or James may have paid a 10, 10 pounds or something like that to get them. So we went away and we painted our trolls and now we'll showcase them. See James's uh, video on this. I don't, he hasn't uh, released it yet, but it will be the, the full um, detailing of what the competition was and the final results. Uh, but this is just my little showcase of what I done, how they turned out, and I'm actually quite happy with them. Um, you may have seen I did my first ever live stream um, a week or two ago where I was painting this particular troll here that I'm holding now and just doing slightly different techniques. I've take, I took it upon myself just to sort of use this as a bit of an opportunity just to try different things that I hadn't tried before and just to see how they sort of turn out. And I, I think it came out quite nicely. Um, and if you have, if you had seen that video, I mean, and you would like me to do more live streaming, please put some comments below. Let me know. It's something I haven't really looked into that much, but you know, it's something I could do if that's what people would like to see. But it's not been my uh, greatest viewed video, so you know, it's probably not something I'm gonna crack on with too much, unless the people out there ask for it. Um, I also did a couple of little goblins here, little pokey sticks, just to push these guys along down the table just for a bit of fun. So these three trolls really gave me the opportunity to try something new. So I would really like to uh, put the challenge out there to you guys and try something new. Try a different technique, try some different terrain, try anything that's new in the hobby to yourself. I always like to see videos of people trying new things um, and pushing themselves. It always makes me uh, more enthusiastic about the hobby. So yeah, I'd love to see that. So let's get some better light on these guys and get them on a turntable. So the new technique I was trying was a thing called underpainting, where you get your shadows and your highlights um, kind of worked out with a wet blend underneath and then build, build up from there. Um, kind of successfully did it. I think the one as, we come, as it coming around, the sort of the greeny bluey one, we're holding the stone was probably the closest I got to the results I was looking for, um, but you know I've got a lot to a lot to learn and, and practice on that particular technique. Um, it it should give me the, the option to really play with colours, uh, which I don't think I really sort of, I achieved with these three guys. They still came out nice, um, but I didn't achieve the depth of colour that maybe um, I was looking for. But hey, that's uh, that's part of trying and learning from, uh, maybe I'd say not necessarily mistakes, but just learning from, um, you know, what you've done and pushing on from there. The stone that the troll on the right is holding, um, I used the technique that I used on the stone golem video, which I'll put a little link up just here. Um, sort of a leopard spot um, technique which really works really nicely for creating like a natural stone look um, and I think that came out quite nicely it was a little bit harder actually on that rock because it's such a small amount of stone to work with whereas the stone golem on that video is nice it was all rock but yeah I think that came all right but yeah in all in all fun little project glad they're done they're going to be popped into my fantasy army now and good to go. So all there is left to say is thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Stay safe guys. Catch you later.